Welcome from Tessel, one of the five Dutch islands. I have left the mainland of the Netherlands to come and show you some of the best things that you can do on this beautiful Dutch island. Tessel is one of the five Dutch Vodden Islands located north of the Dutch mainland. To get there, you'll have to take the ferry from Den Helder, which is just under an hour from Amsterdam. The ferry takes about 20 minutes after which you have arrived on the island. Today I'm going to be starting at the Tessel Lighthouse. This lighthouse was built in 1864 because of all the boats that perished here in the sea around Tessel. It is the only lighthouse in the Netherlands that you have a view from all three of the sides and it has 118 stairs to get up but then you actually can go up and see the views. Is he on the toilet? Yep, he's on the toilet. Oh, I'm doing it. Okay, so I didn't have to work on my <sighs> workout skills. If you can make all these stupid workouts. But I'm already out of breath. And I'm not even at the top yet. Come on. I am at the top. Ah. Wow, this is so beautiful because you've got absolute panoramic views. There's the ocean. There's the dune region, and then there you can actually see the other, uh, the next island, Fleeland, which I'll take you and show you guys a little bit better down on the beach. But it's so beautiful to see all these views. Ah. Okay, well, that was a cool visit to the beautiful lighthouse. We are now off to the beach, which is like right beside the lighthouse. You walk down, then you go to your right, because this is where you'll find the most northern part of the island of Tessel. The Netherlands has five islands, and Tessel is the first, or the one all the way on the left. And from this northern point, you can actually see the next island, Vlieland. So that is where we're gonna walk now. One great thing about today is that there's almost no wind, so I'm not being blown away, and I can actually enjoy the heat of the sun, because, uh, yeah, it tends to get quite windy out on the island. Well, there you have it. I've made it to the most northern part of the island without getting sink, stuck away by uh, quicksand. And here in the background of me, that is the island of Fleeland, which is the next island, which I think is pretty cool that you can actually see that from this island. Well, I have made it to our next place, which is De Slifter. And De Slifter is a unique nature area. It is a salt marsh in between two sand dikes. For a very long time, they tried to make this an agricultural zone without success. And then in the 20th century, they decided to let the sea come in. So basically all the plants that you have in this region are, can tolerate seawater. And at the moment you can only walk in the Southern part because uh, the rest of the area is actually closed off because of birds. I definitely bring binoculars if you come here and you enjoy watching birds because there will be many, many to watch. All the way in the back over there is the ocean and here you can clearly see how the salt water is coming into this marshy region. you're going to spend a couple of nights on Tessel then why not get yourself a cool accommodation. I'm going to be actually spending two nights here at Tessel Yurts. They have beautifully equipped yurts here in the dunes. As I got onto the, the terrain I saw bunny rabbits hopping away and I could hear and see the birds everywhere and their yurts are pretty pretty comfortable. But I mean look here you've got a whole sitting area really nice then I have got a yurt with two single beds, but obviously you've also got yurts with um, double bed. So this is very awesome. They have focused on all the small finishing touches, like you have a Taste of Tessel cookbook, like very nice furniture. I even have a place to like eat, or as you can see, do some work. And then we have a kitchen. And the cool thing is, there is electricity in this yurt. And then down here, we have this bad boy. And this is the stove and the cooker and the heater and everything. Also, all the cupboards are stocked with all the appliances. So yeah, you could definitely go all out. great first night on the island it is time to get back into the activities and this one that i'm taking to you guys to next is one that i'm really really looking forward to so the 
first part of Eco Mare is actually a museum to teach you everything about the Vodden area. The island of Tessel is in the Vodden Sea and it is a very unique ecosystem. And in this part of the museum, you can learn everything about the species that live here, the ground, the other things in the water. And it's actually really, really cool because it's super, super interactive. So this is the main reason I came to Ecomara. Ecomara rescues and rehabilitates grey and common seals. Um, they often come here because of things such as boat injuries or getting very sick from plastic. They also have seabirds here and it's amazing what they do, how they try to you know, get in these rescued seals and animals and then rehabilitate them and then have them ready for release again. You have on the Vodden Islands, you have the common and the grey seal. So it's also really cool to actually see how they are being rehabilitated. So these seals over here I think are very sad, um, they are very young and one of them had a lung infection and the other one was very weak and they can only go, get out of this part of the quarantine once they have hit 30 kgs then they can actually be released again but until then they're going to be here so they can be monitored very well. So if we know that a lot of the illnesses from seals also come from them actually ingesting plastic which also happens with seabirds there's some simple things that we can change in our routine as well. One is stop using single-use plastic because this is just it doesn't make any sense to be using something for once and the second is if you're on the beach or anywhere actually pick up the trash that you see so that it can't actually end up in the oceans and affect these animals. I'm back at the car and that was really cool because I got to learn more about the Vodden region and it's also really cool when you go there you can actually interactively learn about the certain area and then also it was really cool to learn about the seals and how they've got you, why they were rescued and what phase they are before release. There's just one little critical note that I do have and that is around feeding time it was getting very busy and you had kids screaming at seals uh, so that just makes me wonder um, how comfortable the seals would be when they have so many people around but what I do know is that all the money that comes in from these visitors also goes straight back into this organization and this organization is really busy with you know rescuing and rehabilitating seals and creating more awareness around them so they are definitely doing a good job it's just a small critical side note but anyways I'm I'm getting hungry so it's time to go off to our next stop. So I have arrived at the Futsalbos which translated in English is the food forest. Um, they have over three kilometers of strawberries uh, that we can go picking because they are in season. Other seasons they have like cherry tomatoes and tulips and stuff like that. But for today, today it's going to be the strawberries. They also have a whole food forest at the back, but nothing is in season at the moment. They're all like flowering. But John, let's go get ourselves some strawberries. done in good faith because you're not allowed to eat while you're picking obviously because you have to pay at the end so I've got myself half a box I'm by myself so I don't need a full box of strawberries and uh, now I'm gonna go pay for them and then I can finally taste one okay guys so I just paid for the strawberries and what she was telling me is that there are no chemicals used on these strawberries so you don't even have to put them under the tap and they're fully natural so let's try one they are really, really, really good. Very sweet. <laughs> okay, so I've decided to come out and visit their little food forest. And like I said, a lot of things are flowering at the moment. And um, yeah, they make so many fresh uh, products uh, here, like jam and everything. But all of the ingredients come straight from their property. And the cool thing is when they actually started many years back, they were the first ones producing strawberries here on Tessel. And then they had to constantly be picking because it was going so quickly that you know when they had people coming to pick up the strawberries they would be like yeah, just give me uh, my own uh, a little box and I'll do it myself and that is how the actual concept started of your own picking strawberry picking or produce picking when in Tessel, you can of course also go and visit some of the cute little villages, such as Oudersgeld. This is a small fishing village, and another is Oosterend. This village has monumental Dutch buildings. Both are quite small, but are great to walk around and maybe grab some lunch. Of course, taking a bike ride or driving around the island to see the typical landscape of the dunes, fields, and see all the sheep can't be missed. 
I've arrived at my next destination. And as you might see on that truck over there, I am at the Tessels Beer Brouwerij. The island of Tessel has different breweries, but this is one of the major ones. And you can actually buy this beer throughout the Netherlands. It was started in 1999 and they have multiple different beers. Um, so yeah, let's go try it out, man. I love beer. <laughs> Okay, so my adventure at the brewery got cut short because there is rain on the way. I did enjoy a blonde beer, one of my favorite types of beer, and I got myself two extra ones in the shop to go enjoy. But this place is really awesome, man. You've got the whole tasting uh, area. You can sit outside and you can taste all the different beers. They have a very wide selection. And yeah, then you've also got the little shop. So really cool place to come and visit. And man, if there is more sun, then definitely sit on the terrace and just enjoy a couple of beers in the sun. Um, I'm going to take these home with me for now. Well guys, that is the end of this video and I hope that I've inspired you for some items on your Tessel itinerary. Of course, there are so many other things that you can go and do on the island of Tessel, such as visiting the fresh produce makers, because there are quite a few of them on the island, some of the museums, but also go discover more of the June landscape. These were just a couple of activities that definitely felt good for me to come and show you guys. For now, I'm gonna be spending my last night here in one of the yurts at Tessel Yurts. So I'm gonna wind down and enjoy that. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more off the beaten track travel, wildlife, nature, adventure related content, then definitely click on the subscribe button because yeah, that's everything that I talk about on my channel. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Bye. <laughs>